So, uh, what's got two thumbs and is a complete dickhead? Um, I just did some recording without recording. Okay, so, basic idea. Also, hi, hello, g'day, how you doing? Uh, I'm Sanwin. Um, for those that are wondering where uh, the, the Wes video series went, uh, Wes died on stream and I lost the VOD, so sorry about that. I'll have to probably start a new world. Uh, but this is how to get started in DST, uh, hopefully being able to allow you to survive a couple of nights before you, you know, until you get your feet on the, on the ground properly. Uh, you, you feel around a little better. Um, for those that are used to this game, uh, please feel free to leave comments down below. Uh, of how you would do it, what you prioritize. This is just what I do, so keep that in mind. As long as you're surviving, uh, I don't feel there's a right or wrong way if you're surviving and having fun. Some people do it faster, some people don't. Another thing I need to mention is I stream this over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Sanwin, uh, often. I'm actually a, a clay ambassador. I do play modded. Primarily, I do play modded. In fact, this is going to be one of the first times I've ever played vanilla. Even when I first got the game, I modded it. Uh, so all these mods that I currently have sitting here, I've turned off, uh, same with my client mods, they're all turned off. So this is entirely vanilla. I haven't messed with any of these settings here. I'm going to be playing, uh, as, I'm going to be playing as Wilson, uh, because he's like the first one in the list and the one that people will generally start with, I think. So, uh, we're going to hit resume world. I have actually loaded this world up before, um, just to make sure I was familiar with the whole vanilla thing, and then I realized um, it's not that hard to be familiar with because there's nothing there. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, here we are. I think the only, actually I think the only setting I really modified now that I've thought about it, um, I believe I made this endless, which uh, is another thing I recommend if you're just starting out. Um, there's the different game types. There's survival, what is it, survival, Wilderness and Endless, I think, are the three. I should have showed you where that was, but... No, I didn't mind, you bastard. God damn it. I hate these guys. You know what? I want to see if I can get him to go the other way and piss off the frog. Please and thank you. Thank you very much, frog. Uh, that is uh, one of the easiest sources of, uh, of meat. So what I'm doing right now is I'm pretty much just collecting up all the basic crap that I'm going to need. Uh, like sticks, grass, uh, food. Food's also a very, very good option. Butterflies are a fantastic source of both uh, food and healing. I believe it's 9 food, 8 health. They don't modify your sanity. They do increase your naughtiness. You can't see it. There's, uh, there is an actual uh, unwritten naughtiness meter. When that reaches a predetermined number... Uh, Krampus attacks, or Krampi attack, I should say. And, um, yeah, when that happens, it's not great. There's usually three or four of them, I think, uh, all appear at once, and they'll take anything that you've left on the ground. Um, they can, I believe they can take out of, uh, chests as well, and they can attack you. So, it's not fun. First thing I'm gonna do, uh, first thing I'm gonna make, sorry, is a pick. I know I should make a, an axe because I don't actually have uh, any rocks around here, but yeah. Flint usually sits around these areas pretty often. And the other thing I'm going to make is a torch while I have the ingredients to do it and while I'm thinking about it. Because when nighttime kicks around, you can always go find a tree to light on fire and that works a double thing for you because when the tree burns out, um, you can knock it down for the charcoal that you're going to eventually need for a crock pot. So. So uh, it's, it's all about little micromanaging, um, trying to think at least one step ahead. And again, I'm, I don't, I'm not saying any of this to toot any kind of horn. I know that I'm very much a noob at this game based on just some of the mega structures and mega builds and mega everything's bases, sorry, that I've seen other, uh, other streamers and, and, uh, YouTubers do. So, uh, yeah, still still very new. And if you're wondering about the mods uh, that I do use when I'm streaming, I will leave a link in the description for the Steam page that I have the collection for those mods on. Um, it puts them all in one place. You can have a look at them. Uh, you can, I believe you can favorite them from there. But, uh, yeah, so we're just going to collect up a bit more food. See if I can find a spot with just some 
trees by themselves because I don't believe I'm going to find anything resembling stone up here yet. So what I'm going to do, I will see you guys very soon. I'm pretty much just going to be, I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep on collecting up stuff. So I'll see you guys very soon. Okay, I'm back. Um, for the most part, I shouldn't need food. I found a swamp, so that's nice. Uh, but I don't really want to go play in the swamp right now because uh, swamps, swamps uh, equal tentacles. And you don't want to do that on your first night. It's not, not high on the list. All right, night time should be kicking around now. I believe. Yeah, there it is. Someone light that on fire so I can save my torch. All right, it is now morning. I'm just waiting for this tree to finish burning. There we go. I'm going to cut them down. Now, um, what I'm going to want to do right now is I need to try and find some stone. So I'm going to see if I can find somewhere with stone. Uh, 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 um... I'm going to follow the road this way, I think. Because, yeah, I mean, we have we have sticks, we have grass, so we're okay for the most part with a lot of that. So I'm just going to follow this road, because I do need stone. I need stone and I need gold. And I do not believe we're going to be lucky enough around here, maybe. Actually, I'm going to grab that. There's a lot of these grass areas, though. Like these particular grassy areas, I should say. Yeah, lots of frog ponds. Which is good. Like, it's it's great. That means food. That means when you, you know, get to a point where you're setting up a base, you're going to be able to get food. You're going to be able to um, get honey and stuff because there's a lot of bees around here. But, um, yeah, as I said, I'm looking for stone. So, I'm... I'll just put you guys on pause again for a moment and... I'll see if I can find some stone. I'll show you on the map where it is based on where I am right now. Okay. All right. See you very soon. Okay. I know I said I'd be back as soon as I found some stone, but um, thus far it's just hit evening. And uh, yeah, these areas usually have stone and or gold deposits, but apparently not this one. Probably back somewhere I've already been. Nope. Nope, absolutely not. Okay. Uh, wow, there's a lot of trees. There's a lot of trees. There's a lot of bees. There's a lot of D's. D's what, sir? D's. I mean, I, I found the... found the moonstone thingy portal doovy. Uh-oh. Yep, yep, this is actually spider forest. It'll be fine. Also, if you do start a forest fire, leave the area and it'll eventually burn itself out without transferring to other trees. I'm only staying here right now because, well, it's better than the alternative. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, it's now morning. <laughs> it's now morning, the fire is still raging. Uh, hmm. I'm just waiting for one of these to... All right, preferably two of them to burn up so that I can get some charcoal before I leave, but I don't know. You know, I probably should go before the entire forest goes up. Yeah, fine. Whatever. Let's go. Oh, wow. This is a bust. All right. Anyway, when you guys get your worlds, I'm hoping you get a better one than this. I, I played this last night, I was doing a bit of a show and tell for the people on stream, you know, this is how you survive your first day, slash night, slash whatever. And the world I had, had a, um, had one of these wormholes at the base that I was at, or the base that I'd created, and it wormholed within a screen from the, uh, Pig King. Which was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Alright, uh, do we at least have... Clockwork dudes, we do not. Holy crap. Okay, so we've just started in on day four. I still haven't found anything. I've been all around here. The pig king is possibly over here. Um, that's the swamp. So I guess I'm going to head the other direction. But uh, the reason I came back was, uh, for starters, I wanted to show you this. That's the bee queen hive. But um, also, if you come across these 
these here, try not to touch the chest immediately. Because these ones are trapped. This chest, I believe, has a fire staff in it, but it also has gunpowder. And what'll happen is it'll pretty much burn everything around here. So, um, yeah. If you've got a hammer, or make a hammer, uh, just turn around, knock down all these walls. Each of them gives you a log. So, you know, if you've got the time, then, uh, yeah, you'll get a bunch of logs out of this. You hit that, that'll give you, I think, a couple of pig skins and a couple of sticks. There's some beef flow wool in there. Um, you hit the bones with the hammer and you'll get bone shards. Uh, bo yep, I think it's bone shards or bone chips. Um, and you'll also have a chance of hound's teeth. And then turn around and open the chest. I mean, you can break the chest if you want, but breaking the chest also um, ignites the gunpowder. So, uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Again, uh, I shall return. Also, keep an eye on your uh, spoilage of your boots. If worse comes to worst, you should be able to... Uh, at least create a basic fire. You know, just make sure you got enough to be able to create one of those. So a couple of bits of log, a couple of logs, sorry. Slap that down, put it somewhere away from trees and grass because um, this one here won't set surrounding area on fire. This one will. But you can cook your food over it so you can take the berries that are either rotting or damn close to being dead, cook them on the fire and it'll bring them up to just above green. And you'll be able to eat them. So, yeah. Always, 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 always try and make the most out of everything you can where your food's concerned. Okay, so what I'm hoping will be a 10 to 15 minute video at the absolute maximum is currently, uh, what are we looking at? 35 minutes recording, and that is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I need to get over there. Okay, so it's this way. All right, we're nearly, <laughs> we're nearly day four night time. Nearly at day four night time. All right, so I know where to get gears. Nice. Okay, things are looking up now. It only took us, only took us nearly five days to actually start getting the crap that we need to actually survive. So this is good. Probably, maybe, maybe not. So I'm thinking. Ooh, okay. I don't like these guys. I don't like the mole worms. So I'm gonna try and build a base around here somewhere, but probably. <laughs> Oh, if this is a multiplayer game, we would have been set because usually when we play multiplayer, everyone goes in a different direction. So someone, this is where we started. Someone would have gone straight up and they would have found the stones. But yeah, the reason I don't want to build near these guys is because if you leave anything on the ground, it is fair game. <gasps> Chester! I found Chester. Chester, you gorgeous creature. Thank goodness you are here. Thank all the goodness. Yay! Ah, my spleen. All right, that'll do. Come on, Chester, let's go. All right, so that's all I needed. I'm now on day five. I'm gonna go see what's on the other side of the stone area. Probably nothing of interest, but I want to see what's on the other side because, as I said, I don't want to build where these guys are, where the moles are. I definitely don't want to build where that many frogs are. Fro frogs are, are. But I do want gold, so I'm gonna do that actually before I go anywhere else. I'm gonna make a couple of picks. I'm gonna get a bunch of gold and then. That would actually set me up. Then then it's pretty much just a case of where am I going to build. So you know what? I think we've reached a point. I think we've finally reached a tipping point. Where we can make that decision as to where we're going to build. I need at least three pieces of gold. Because I need one for the science machine and then one for the alchemy engine. I do need a bunch of stone though. That's the, that, that is a big thing. Need a bunch of stone in order to um, create the stone blocks or carved stone or whatever it is um, to be able to do half the things you need to do in this game. Huh. Oh, I'm so glad. Hey guys, guess what? There is no other side. It's fine. You know what? I'm just going to build my base down here. I'm just going to build it right here. I don't care anymore. I'm just, I'm just, I'm building the base. I'm building the base down near the start area. It's mine. Go away. I want these. These are all mine. All these charcoal are belong to me. Eat that. All right. Uh, so yes. I mean, this is good. This is, this is actually not horrible. I'm, I hate this world with a passion just because of what it made me do, but look at all these, like, there's this whole area with all these close-together frog ponds. 
you know, set up enough traps, you're going to have frogs for days. And you don't need a frog rain to do it. And there's the start area. You know what, I'm just going to build my thing, like, right here. Right here, right next to the road. Let's go. Oh. So yes, now we've got the startings of our base. And you know what, I don't think you guys need my help any further beyond this. As I said, the only things I really do now is I just, I start building stuff. Like, I'll build my, uh, I'll build my science machine. Actually, uh, no. First thing you do is you build a backpack. Sorry. Backpack is absolute top priority. As soon as you get a science machine, get a backpack. I can't stress that enough. Because <laughs> backpacks, man. Backpacks are super useful. Okay. Now, now you build your doodads. I need two of these. Oh, it's... Oh, it's two gold each. Oh, I forgot about that. It's not one gold each, it's two gold each. So, yes, full apologies on that one. And I believe I still need wood, don't I? Yeah, I need wood planks. That's even worse. So, yes. Then, basically, uh, you know, I, I make a hammer. Which I think I can do without having to do much of anything. Yep, there we go. So, I make a hammer. Once I've got the um, once I've got the the alchemy engine prototyped, so you've hit prototype and it's sitting here ready to be put down. You switch to your hammer, you bash the science engine, that science engine, and then you can put the alchemy engine straight down where the science engine, the science machine came up. So, X freaking what? Well, of course I would. Of course I'd build right next to these guys. The hell, dude. Come here. I'm gonna die to this thing. No, come here. I don't care. I don't care anymore. This is how I end the freaking episode. There. <laughs> so, thank you for being here. Hopefully this uh, taught you some stuff, maybe... Maybe check your surroundings a little better before you build your base, because I didn't realize one of those mofos was around here. So there's that. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested in watching some more DST, as I said, I do stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Sandwind. Link will be in the description as well as the previously stated link for the mods that I use whilst I'm streaming. Um, we regularly do Saturday night streams with me and a bunch of my friends. And uh, yeah. But I will hopefully see you in the next video. Again, this was over 45 minutes of recording that I, I'm seriously going to try and yam down into about a 10-minute video. So we'll see how that goes, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.